Okay, I'm going to show you how I um, prep the seat. Now, I added this right here. I um, The way I glued this was, was with um, some Diablo. Well, this spray glue. And the reason why I glued it is because when I took it apart, um, it didn't have any additional padding. It was just the foam and these two pieces of foam. That's all they had. But this foam was actually coming off. You see, it's it's separate from the pink one. So it was coming off. And to prevent that, what I do is I just glue these pieces of fabric on it. Um, I didn't show you how I did it, but that's typically what I do. So the foam will come apart. See, it's like very stuck on there, okay? So next up, what I do is I add cotton. If I can get this right. And whenever you rip the cotton off, always apply some pressure. I use, I use my thumb a lot. So I have this tape right here. Get some of this off, you know, and then push it in there. Same thing right here, just to see, just pinching it off. So on the sides, I leave it flush. In the front, I leave it a little bit overhanging. And then I take off the top layer, probably just half of it. Just pinch that off real quick. And then you gotta feel it, you gotta touch it and make sure it feels all even. So on upholstery, the trick is just, you know, mainly using your hands and feeling that everything feels even. As even as possible. Once you have that done, I just put you know, a small little block right here in the corner. And this little block, well, these little pieces of cotton, what, what, what it will do is just help the corners um, puff up a little bit. Okay, so next up what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put some Dacron. Okay. I like to tuck it in in the back first, that way it doesn't move. And then right here I just, you know, pinch and rip a little bit. And once I do the back, just do the front part staple. And this does, even this stapling process right here does take some some practice I do make it look easy but I've been doing this for many years if you haven't done this before um, this the first time putting Dacron on a piece of furniture like this uh, be careful don't staple your finger I know I emphasize that a lot but uh, you did not want to get stapled by one of these. Then when I staple in the corners, I staple it higher. A little bit higher than the ones on the sides. Okay, so next up, next up, just cut everything flush. I like to leave um, these corners for last. I just follow the wood like this, do a straight cut up. Here, just straight cut up. Okay. 
Then just spray a little bit of glue. And anytime you spray this, make sure um, you spray this in the floor somewhere where it's not close to like um, like a finished product because sometimes this thing sprays sideways up down so make sure you first test it out on the floor or anywhere else where it won't um not spray anything important and if you do spray something you can always use um a product called goo off it's goo off or something like that you can buy that at home depot it works really well and then also when i get all this i get way more than this on my fingers uh, whenever i get a bunch of you know, blue stuff. I just use double D40. This is nothing right now. My hands usually get full of this, full of Dacron. Um, double D40 works really well. Well, anyways, this is how you pat the seat up. All right. At this point, you're probably like, man, how do you get this stretched out? I mean, it's pretty simple. Just stretch it out that way that. That. and I'll see you like this is what I do I check the scent see how these two seams line up right there so I just go right here do two staples angled that way I can easily take them off and then you work your way you know, side to side massage the fabric going backwards a little bit and uh, just mark right here do it at an angle same thing with the other side massage it back mark it and you can see how it's already lining up really well the way to cut this right here, the opening right here, where the fabric tucks in is about this wide. I kind of have an idea how it goes already. Just cut straight. Like that. That worked perfectly. And then over here, you want to push the fabric a little bit over here so it's, so it's close to this other, the back part. There's a little triangle cut to right here. Tuck that in like that. Same thing over here, triangle cut. Just make sure you don't cut nothing down there. You can see right here how it's kind of tough to pull. And you just work your way towards it. Okay, see that? That'll work really well. And yeah, you can just pull this on back. You can just mark it right here too so it will move. Oh, you get an idea of how it's gonna look and just you know fix it up later on and you just tuck this in if it's too hard to push um use a piece of wood or something you know once you get a little bit in there you can try to feel it back here goes once you get a little bit in just pull push with this one and pull with the hand in the back with your hand back here when it's you know bonded leather like this is kind of hard it gets stuck a little bit just work with it a little bit that's it Sorry to the cuts right here. I 
And just stuff this little corner right here because I don't like how when I pull it down, just like it before right there. If you're gonna be doing this, be careful. Don't staple your finger. I mean, you saw the way I stapled right here. And right here, make sure you line up the, the fold with the bottom of the wood right here. That's kind of annoying. And to get rid of this, just pull this up a little bit. Bam. So before I get started on this front part, let's go ahead and just pull this back. It's gonna be kind of hard to see because there's, there's cardboard right here, but let me just staple this. Right there we go, that ain't going nowhere. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's um, we'll do one corner. All right, see this? That's not good. Uh, you can stuff it with Dacron or with whatever you have, cotton or polyfill. Let's go like that. These are like little remnants of the uh, poly the Dacron that I used for the seat cushion. So do that. See, that's a lot better. Yeah, you see the way I'm stapling this? It's pretty dangerous, so uh, if y'all are doing this, be super careful. Don't staple your finger. So right here, just be careful when you staple, I mean, when you cut it, uh, make sure you don't cut past the little the wood mark right there. Or the wood, and then right here, um, what you can do is cut straight up, not too much, not too much, not too little, just right. I don't cut this off, because then the thread will open up. I actually backstitched it down here. Let's just fold this upwards. And just make sure you stuff this up there. Make sure it's just stuck up there. And then you just proceed to the stapling. Make sure it looks even. See, that looks a little bit too high for me. So I do that side. 
and then you just do the same thing to the other side basically and uh, yeah that's it it's nice and smooth I already did I already stapled it back here um, so now I just gotta do the same procedure over here get rid of this stuff it a little bit do the same cuts down here and folds it's pretty straightforward but that's how you do the seats